we are going to talk about the non tuberculous mycobacteria which is also called as the or typical mycobacteria now this is the last part of the tuberculosis topic and this is the most neglected part also but here we will cover it also because we do not want to leave any lacuna there so that's why we want to cover everything even every topic every corner of the topic so this is the final part of the tuberculosis and this is sometimes asked in the university exams as short notes also so that that means uh, that means it also becomes important from exam point of view sometimes okay so first coming to the definition of the ntm or the or typical mycobacteria so the definition uh, states that those mycobacteria which are present in the environment like air soil and water and animals and occasionally cause infection to the humans resembling tuberculosis are called as the atypical mycobacteria that means the atypical mycobacteria are those mycobacteria which are present in the environment freely or they are present in the animals and occasionally cause the uh, infection to the humans and those infection resemble to the tuberculosis but they are not exactly tuberculosis so this is complete definition of the or typical or the or typical mycobacteria or the non tuberculous mycobacteria now in this non tuberculous mycobacteria uh, one very important point is the classification okay the, so questions come over those classification that classification name is the runyan's classification okay so the name of the classification is the runyan's classification according to which this ntm are grouped into four groups that is the photochromogens scotochromogens non photochromogens and the rapid growers so uh, we have to know the uh, very important property of these groups plus some of the examples you can remember i will tell you how to remember the examples very easily you will not forget uh, any time after that so first coming to the first group that is the photochromogens so by the term itself you can know that photo means light and chroma means color and pigments are colorful so that means what is the meaning of photochromogen photochromogen means those mycobacteria which are which produce the pigments in light okay they are called photochromogen very simple scotochromogen next come the scotochromogen scoto is something related to darkness or the night okay chroma means color so what is the meaning of scotochromogen this means means those mycobacteria which produce pigment in both light and dark okay so those which are able to you just uh, think it in in this way that those who are able to produce the pigment in the dark they will obviously be producing the uh, pigment in the light okay there is uh, no uh, limitation to them uh, okay but who are producing the pigment in the light only they will not be able to produce it in the uh, dark but who but those who are producing it in the dark they can produce it in light okay they are uh, they are not caring about whether there is light or not so that that means the scotochromogens can produce the pigment in both light and dark while the photochromogens can only produce pigment in the light then comes the non photochromogens means they are not very much interested in producing pigments okay they are very lethargic they are not interested in producing pigments then comes the rapid growers rapid growers means those which grow very rapidly in one week those which grow very rapidly in one within one week now comes to how to remember the examples so the example of the photochromogen is the example of the photochromogen is the mycobacterium asiaticum and mycobacterium marinum so we know that the people go to the marine beaches of the asia to take photos okay marine beach of asia to take photos so you can remember by this mnemonic that people go to marine beach of asia to take photo that means photochromogens are the asiaticum and marinum marine beaches means marinum and marine beaches of asia means asiaticum and photo means photochromogen so the people go to marine beaches of asia to take photo 
so one thing is sorted now come to the scotochromogens so scotochromogens you can remember by glasgow comma scale gcs gcs so what is the meaning of gcs gcs is uh, you know a way of assessing the mental status of any trauma patient or uh, any stroke patient so this is used in medicine or in surgery the glasgow comma scale you will come to know even you enter the enter your final year so for the time being you just remember this gcs for to remember the example of this cotochromogen so g for gordoni g for gordoni c for selatum okay and s for scotochromogens so gcs means the example of the scotochromogen now come the non photochromogen now suppose you have got an ulcer will you go and take the photo of that ulcer no obviously you are not going to take the photo of that ulcer that means non photochromogen means no photo for ulcer that means ulcerans is non photochromogen okay and one more example you can remember is the avm avm now comes the last group that is the rapid growers so for remembering the rapid grower you uh, must have seen the abscess pelvic abscess cold abscess uh, breast abscess and abscesses can occur anywhere in the body brain abscess anywhere and we know that the abscesses can grow very rapidly if you are not giving antibiotics if you are not treating if you are not doing incision and drainage of that abscess then the abscesses will increase very rapidly that means what is the example of the rapid grower it is mycobacterium abscesses mycobacterium abscesses okay is, a, is an example of the rapid grower other than that you can remember one other that is smeg smegmatis which is also a rapid grower so this is how you can remember whole of the uh, classification that is the runyon's classification of the non tuberculous mycobacteria very easily okay now comes what are the diseases caused by these non tuberculous mycobacteria so the diseases which are caused by the non tuberculous mycobacteria very commonly are the tb like pulmonary infection but not exactly tb okay never utter tb it is tb like pulmonary infection just then lymph node infection can be caused by this ntm then cutaneous infection can be caused by this ntm and disseminated infection can also be caused by this ntm now how do you diagnose this ntm there comes a question also about the lab diagnosis of the mtm or mcq related to this uh, ntm so first as always you have to correct the specimen here your specimen will be according to the presentation of the disease so you can collect a sputum if there is uh, you know lung infection if you can collect the lymph node aspirate if there is lymphadenitis by that bacteria or uh, lymphadenitic presentation of that uh, patient you can collect pus you can collect exudate depending on the condition then you can do jdm staining of course okay the first thing is to stain the specimen so in the jdm staining if you see the red and fast uh, red acid fast bacilli under microscopy then you suspect it as to be mycobacteria then you do the culture on lg media you know lg levinson jensen media is the uh, culture media of choice for the mycobacteria so you can use that lg media and uh, many species can show growth over that that is a non specific one but of course you can use that as a media because that is a selective media of the mycobacteria then comes the identification so species of the non ntm are differentiated from the m tuberculosis complex by one very important test that is the mtp mpt 64 antigen detection test now this is one point for which I am making this video okay a very important MCQ come uh, in, uh, I mean comes in the exam that is how you can differentiate between the NTM and the mycobacterium tuberculosis so it is nothing but the my uh, MPT 64 antigen it is MPT 64 antigen detection test this is the test by which you can detect the or differentiate the NTM from mycobacterium tuberculosis how how you can do that so it is negative in NTM 
while it is positive in m tuberculosis so this you should remember always okay because it can be us in mcqs of your university exams or even in the neat pg okay so that's all about the non tuberculous mycobacteria and here comes here we come to the end of the tuberculosis topic as well